When people think about ADHD, the first thing that comes to their minds is inattention, inability to concentrate and focus and do work and fidgeting and things like that. But people disregard a very important symptom, which is called rejection sensitivity dysphoria. And for people who don't think that rejection sensitivity dysphoria is very common among patients with ADHD, look at this. Up to 99% of patients and adolescents, adults and adolescents with ADHD are affected more than usual to rejection. Dysphoria means hard to bear or something that's very heavy to carry because people with ADHD aren't really able to bear the criticism or the rejection from others. People with RSD may experience embarrassment very, very easily, like the slightest situations can literally embarrass them. They can get very angry and even have an emotional outburst when they feel that they are rejected or feel some kind of criticism. And because of all that, they can sometimes put very high standards and they cannot reach them. And of course, th eventually they will have low self-esteem. They might feel anxious when they are in social settings because just of the idea that they're f very fearful of rejection. And staying away from social interactions and social settings in general because they don't want to be rejected. And this is very important. They can feel like a failure because they're not meeting other people's expectations of them and even their own expectations of themselves. And here's the most dangerous. They can sometimes think about hurting themselves because it's a very bad feeling, the feeling of being accepted and the feeling of being hurt for literally no reason, most of the time, no reason. RSD can look like a lot of other symptoms. And people with ADHD sometimes are misdiagnosed with borderline personality disorder because of this emotional dysregulation thing. They can't really control emotions in response to rejection and criticism and things like that. It sometimes can even look like a trauma, you know, like feeling rejected. Sometimes it can look like a trauma, so they can be diagnosed with PTSD. And yeah, bro, it's, it's that serious. And it feels bad. It sometimes can look like a heart attack, a heart attack. RSD manifests basically as episodes. Whenever you have this rejection thing, you get an emotional outburst and your whole body, your whole nervous system is basically set on fire and you're you know, in the fight flight response and you feel all that crap. Listen very carefully to this. Children with ADHD get 20,000 more negative messages about themselves than the other people. I read this on, on WebMD and it's, it's, uh, uh, it's painful, guys. People with ADHD, in order to cope with this rejection sensitivity dysphoria thing, a lot of times they try to make people admire them and like them in order to avoid this whole rejection thing. And sometimes they're even successful in doing that. They may also just withdraw, just not do anything and get rid of all the experiences that puts them in the situation where they can possibly be hurt, like just socially withdraw. And people think they are socially phobic, but they're not. They're just afraid of rejection and criticism. You know the feeling when you felt rejected, but you're not, you're not rejected, but you're feeling like you're rejected. And so you act upon this feeling and you act as if you're rejected. And so the person actually re start rejecting you for real. And this is self-fulfilling prophecy. The person didn't really reject you, but because he saw these actions, these being rejected actions from you, he started actually rejecting you. People with ADHD get a lot of reinforcement from this rejection sensitivity, and it makes them susceptible to rejection even more by people. And this is very important to put in the back of your mind too. But here's the good news. RSD is treatable. RSD is treated when you treat the ADHD. Not only that, there are specific drugs that are very effective in treating this RSD thing. The most common drugs are clonidine and guanfacine. And these are actually blood pressure drugs. The doctors use it to lower the blood pressure, but it helps with the symptoms of RSD in patients with ADHD. So here are the drugs. Get diagnosed and get treated. There are treatments, guys. There are treatments. Go treat yourselves. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. And I'm going to put tons of videos on ADHD. I'm also a medical student, so I will put other videos on how to deal with medical school and ADHD, which is so painful on its own. Like, so imagine putting ADHD on it. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. And, and of course, don't take these medications on your own. Get diagnosed and get treatment. Treatment is effective.
Thanks.